Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Welcome to Newsbreak. Instagram's big change. A gathering of Elvises. And chopsticks that'll zap your food. Bzzz. And if you're new here, why not hit subscribe? Why not hit subscribe? Instagram has announced a big change to the type of content users will see, and experts reckon it's all part of an even bigger fight between TikTok and Instagram for social media supremacy. Here's Cap. Right. Open Instagram. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. Oh, I watched that on TikTok. I saw that on YouTube. Well, I watched that on my Tamagotchi like, I don't know, six years ago. This isn't the experience Instagram want you to have when you're on their app. If you create something from scratch, you should get more credit than if you are resharing something that you found from someone else. That's the head honcho of Instagram, Adam Masseri, announcing the app's plans to promote original content and pretty much bury reposts through their algorithm. Howdy! An algorithm is a fancy computer word that explains what you see. I love that. Give me more of that. And don't see in your feed. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. No. But not everyone thinks the change is just about seeing original content. Experts say it's also about stopping reposts with TikTok watermarks from popping up. Because, well, that's basically a free ad for Insta's biggest rival. TikTok was the most downloaded app in the world last year, and users in Australia are spending more time on the app than any other. The big thing to remember is that algorithms are pretty complex, so we'll have to wait and see how much of a difference this change actually makes for users and original creators. Opposition leader Anthony Albanese has tested positive for COVID. That means the Labor leader won't be able to go out and about campaigning and will be stuck at home for the next seven days. Albanese reckons there's still plenty that he can do from there and says he's going to be keeping busy and that so far he's feeling fine. Right now, the town of Parks in New South Wales is being invaded by impersonators of this famous icon, Elvis Presley. Hundreds of people have rocked up to celebrate the king of rock and roll. Alex checks it out. Yes, fans have come from far and wide. Some aboard the Elvis Express to celebrate this guy, Elvis Presley, aka The King. The Parks Elvis Festival started back in the early 90s when a few locals here in the town of Parks decided to celebrate the King's birthday in style. These days, it pulls a much bigger crowd and is normally held every year around Elvis's birthday. But it had to be called off in 2021 and delayed this year because of COVID-19 concerns. But now it's finally back. It's very important because it brings a lot of tourists in and makes money for the town and everyone just has a great time. Each year there are a bunch of different events that happen at the five-day festival, including a look-alike competition, a classic car parade and a whole lot of tribute acts. Now take us out, Andy B. Love me tender, love me sweet, Never let me go. Now it's time to see some stories from overseas that all seem to start with the letter C. <laughs> see what I did there? Sorry for roping you into this. Researchers in Japan have come up with a weird way of making your soup taste saltier using chopsticks that zap the food with electricity. Just to be clear, it's a teeny tiny amount of electricity that isn't meant to shock you. It's just enough to move around sodium ions in the food, which can make stuff taste saltier. The folks behind this invention hope it can help people who need to cut back on salt for health reasons without giving up the taste. This is Walter. He's just turned 100 years old, but that's not the impressive bit. He's just set a new world record for the longest time working at a single company. 84 years. At 16, he started working at this company that specialises in making fabrics, which is pretty obvious when you see the way he respects the drip. His life advice, do what you love and stay away from junk food. And finally, to this cool looking facility dedicated to growing coral. They're growing 18 different species, which have all been threatened by a pretty serious disease in recent years. The hope is that they can help repopulate reefs where these types of coral have started to disappear. 
Well, that's all from us this week. We'll see you later. <laughs> Get it? See you later. I am so sorry. I will return you straight after the show. Uh, but first, <laughs> why not hit subscribe? Uh, yes. All right, let's go now. Come on. Come on.